負けられないんだまあまあだね敵だいやーうん、I can't lose yet Not too shabby Here they come Space The realm of infinite possibility It has long inspired the dreams of billions. These dreams, countless in number, spread infinitely throughout the universe, though some of these dreams are nightmares. A race of sentient beings from planet Lazonia, discovered in Sector Gamma, declared war on the Terran Alliance, igniting the flames of ferocious warfare across the galaxy. SD-342. The battleship Kalnus received a commendation for excellence in command for its victory in the battle against Lazonia. SD-346. The captain of the Kalnus and his second in command successfully contained a mysterious virus outbreak on the underdeveloped frontier planet Roke. They also were able to prevent the tyrannical G.A. Revorce's diabolical plan to conquer Earth. Thanks to his achievements, my father was promoted to admiral at the unprecedented young age of 38. I respected him more than anybody else in my life. I know that being a Federation officer is among the greatest accomplishments anyone can hope to achieve in this universe. But I am my own man. I'm no puppet. I'm not just the son of Admiral Ronix J. Kinney, hero of the Pan-Galactic Federation. So what am I doing here, of all places? How's it look? Any change from the pre-landing scans? No, sir. None of the wavelengths are showing any response. The field resembles a magnetic energy field somewhat, but its exact nature is still uncertain at the moment. Hmm. So it's possible that it's absorbing all the waves from the sensors. All right. Let's try running a spectral analysis on the magnetic waves the field is emitting. Claude, you're a ranking officer now. Use this to protect everyone if something happens. What's wrong? Nervous? No, not exactly, sir. <laughs> Don't tell me you're already quaking in your boots, Claude. It's not the kind of behavior I expect from an ensign. I... Uh... You can use this phase gun in battle by pressing the special arts button. Don't be afraid to pull the trigger, it might just save your life. No good, Admiral. There's no match with anything in our databases. Is that right? All right, let's get a closer look at it then. this possibly be? Just why would anyone build something like this here? We'll need to find a way into the dome first. You're right. All crew, spread out and investigate the area. Stay alert, people. Safety is of the utmost priority.
Dad? Uh, Admiral? What is it, Claude? Did you find something? I think this is some type of control device. Maybe it'll open up an entrance into the dome. Good job, Claude. Just as I expected. How does it look? Think you can figure it out? Just give me a little more time and I should be able to... How's it look in there? I don't see any sensors or security measures at the entrance. Beyond that, I can't say anything until we actually go inside. All right, proceed inward and begin with the investigation. Look alive, everyone. We don't know what we'll find inside. Don't be careless, Claude. Wait till we figure out what that thing is before you go near it. Don't worry. It's nothing special. I'll be fine. Stop! Don't go any closer! We still don't know what that device is capable of! Get back here! Stay away from that thing, Claude! Claude! How are we supposed to accomplish anything if you're going to be that scared? Look, there's no danger at all. Coordinates 214-368-97781. Opening gate. Please don't! No, it's... It's all my fault. Oh, that's right. I was on Milokinia. And then that light swallowed me up. My communicator.
It's no good. I can't get a signal. So where am I? Where did I get sent to? Well, I can't just sit around here and do nothing. I need to figure out where I am right away. looks of it, this place might be some underdeveloped planet. Where could I possibly be? That's... there's someone there! Whoa! Look out! Behind you! Huh? Good thing I made it in time. Ah, I shouldn't have used my phase gun. Great. How could I have been so careless? That probably violated the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact. But I had to do it. If I didn't pull the trigger, I couldn't have saved that girl. Um... You all right? Oh, that was a close one. By the way, if you don't mind me asking... Hey, wait! She ran away from me. Oh, good. I was hoping you'd wait for me. I'm sorry I ran away like that. Oh, no, th that's okay. It's just that everything happened so quickly. I was really shocked. <laughs> Scary, huh? Y yes a little Still, I'm really sorry about all this. You saved me, but I just ran off like that. Nah, don't worry about it. Besides, you did stop to wait, didn't you? Oh, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Reyna. Reyna Lanford. Oh, and, uh, I'm Claude. Uh, Claude C. Kinney. Uh, hi. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Kenny. 
So, Mr. Kenny, was there something you wanted to ask me earlier? Oh, right. It's nothing that important, really, but... Uh, where am I? Are you a traveler? Uh, something like that, yeah. Where are you from? From... from Earth? Earth? Where is that? I figure she wouldn't know what I'm talking about. Well, uh, how can I put it? It's... it's really far away from here. Really. Really far away. Probably. A faraway place? I have never even been off this continent. That's really amazing. Is Earth farther away than L? I suppose, yeah. It must have been quite a long and difficult journey. Mr. Kenny, once we cross this bridge, we'll be in Arlia. Arlia? Is that where you live? But, uh, are you sure it's alright if I just barge in? Of course it is. Besides, I need to repay you somehow. No, please, don't worry about it. I didn't do anything that special. <laughs> you don't have to be so modest. It won't be much, just the least I can offer you, so please. I haven't breathed air this clean in a long time. What do you mean by clean air? Is there such a thing as dirty air? Yeah, it's sure dirty where I come from anyway. Really? I don't think I would like that. I don't think so either. This feels a thousand times better. There's plenty of clean air here, so breathe as much as you please. <laughs> to run back home for a little bit, Mr. Kenny. Would you mind maybe taking a walk around the village for a little while? Sure, no problem. I'll be right back. It's probably not a good idea to get too involved with the locals. I better try to find a way back. Maybe the villagers will have something helpful to tell me.
So where is he right now? Well, I told him to look around town for a bit. Wait a minute, Reyna. Hm? Um, excuse me. Ah, is something wrong, Mr. Kenny? No, um, I was just walking around the village and I wound up here. Oh, I see. I didn't expect you to be here. Is this a bad time? Oh, no, not at all. Mom, this is Mr. Kenny. He's the one who saved me earlier. Oh, oh my. So he's the one you told me about? Well, hello there, Mr. Kenny. I'm Raina's mother. Just call me Westa. Raina said that you saved her from a dangerous situation earlier. Oh, I, uh, it wasn't anything special at all. But of course it is. It would have been a disaster if you hadn't shown up when you did. I told this girl time and again to stay away from the sacred forest, but she never listens to me. Oh, Mom. Reyna, you should just be glad that you're okay. Anyways, Mr. Kenny, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. I'm done here, so how about I show you around the village? Ah, yes, please. Thank you. All right. See you later, Mom. <sighs> okay, I got it. Have fun, you two. It was nice meeting you, ma'am. I'm sorry about my mother. She can be annoying sometimes. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. My parents are kind of the same way. Oh, really? Yeah, like you wouldn't believe. You'd be amazed. <laughs> well, shall we get going?
Marina, I wasn't expecting you two to be back so early. Just in time, though. I was just finishing up everything. Finishing up? What? Mom, what's all this food here for? Doesn't it look delicious? I put all of my best recipes out on the table for you. That's not what I mean. What? Did I do something wrong? I just thought I'd thank Mr. Kenny with a nice meal. I understand that, but isn't this a little much? Is it? He's pretty young, so I figured he'd have a big appetite. You are hungry, aren't you, Mr. Kenny? Actually, I am, yeah. See, a real man could put all this away, no problem. So eat as much as you like, all right? Uh, thanks. Oh, Mom. 